All right, guys, for today, you have two rounds, 50 alternating dumbbell snatches or 35 barbell snatches. Those should both be lightweights. Um, the RX for the um, dumbbell snatches would be 50-35, and then for the barbell would be 75-55, so that can maybe give you a little bit of an idea of what you would do. Um, and then that would follow by 75 air squats. So two rounds, 50 alternating dumbbell snatches, and then 75 air squats. This is actually a street parking workout. All right, we adjusted a little bit, but it is from them. The uh, weight, again, it should be light. Something that you can do probably 20 to 30 reps unbroken with a dumbbell and probably 20 reps unbroken with your barbell at least, right? Without having to put it down or take a break. Um, <clears throat> the alternating dumbbell snatches will alternate arms each rep. So, start from the ground. You can have it like so or like so. This is how I like it. You can try both ways. Keep that back nice and flat as you go to pick this thing up. You're gonna come up. Pull your elbow high and punch yourself under this uh, dumbbell here, okay? So, what it'll look like, you'll start here, back nice and flat, looking forward, and stand. And on the way down, you're going to switch, and then you're going to make your way to 50, okay? After that, 75 air squats, keep that chest up, push those knees out, butt should get lower than the knees okay and that will be your workout now for the warm-up it's going to be <clears throat> just one time through 50 jumping jacks so out and in for your jumping jacks okay and then 10 inchworms so walk yourself out lower yourself down seal pose downward dog and walk your hands back into your feet okay you're gonna go for 10 there slight pauses in those stretches then a bootstrap squat so here we're just gonna bend straight over grab those feet my feet should be about um squat width you're gonna sit down drive those knees out pull that chest up from the front it would look like so and then hands back down, raise that butt back up. Heels should stay down the whole time. If they aren't, widen those feet out, okay? Now, after that, we're gonna do a little stretching, but it's gonna be kind of quicker. It's gonna be five pigeon. Hold it for a few seconds. You can drop yourself down, step back, step forward, down. Again, moving through pretty quickly. Now from there, you're gonna go lizard pose. Drop that elbow down, and it's a quick switch. Down, you'll then go Samson lunge, reach up, nice and tall. Get a nice long lunge here, right? So you're stretching out that hip flexor. Lightly touch that knee, or you can maybe just keep it slightly off the ground, but you're gonna be getting a stretch right through here. And then a high kick in place. So straight leg kick and switch, five on each side, okay? When you're done with that, we're gonna hit a couch stretch. So, if you have a wall, this should work fine, okay? Find a wall. Maybe a little something to pad, in, uh, pad your knee here. You're gonna get your knee into the wall. You're gonna sit up nice and straight. And you can always raise this up if you'd like, okay? But you're looking like this when you're at the wall. Knee into the wall, sit up nice and straight, squeeze your butt. It's gonna give you that little stretch through that hip flexor, all right? Now you're gonna get one minute on each side there. You will take a little break, hit the workout, and then the cool down, twisted cross, two minutes on each side. So twisted cross, you're on your back, Hands out, foot up, and across. Now you can take this hand and hold this leg down. So you're gonna stretch through your IT band. Okay, try to keep the opposite side shoulder down. Two minutes here, and then two minutes there. Once you're done with that, hit two minutes of a couch stretch on each side. 
right? That uh, stretch we did right before the workout. And then you are done for the day. It'll be a fun one. Thanks guys.